Uh, what a game. Uh, first of all, I just, I just got to I gotta acknowledge our, our fans. Our fans were, were off the charts. I mean, it was, it was deafening in there. It was extremely loud. And uh, so you got to take your hat off to them because they brought it. They brought it for us tonight. And you can feel the energy. My son, uh, Elijah, told me when he got to the building, he, he texted me right before the game. He said, Dad, the energy in the, in the air is unbelievable. And this is before tip-off. So, you know, I applaud our fans. Uh, we're going to need them to, co- we're gonna need them to continue to be there for us night in, night out, uh, because uh, th- it's not easy. It's a long journey, and we just got to keep taking it one step at a time. And we need everyone behind us in Sacramento, which I feel we definitely have. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, our guys, uh, they, they competed. They stayed poised, especially when we went down. Uh, you know, Golden State, again, they're, they're, they're champions. Uh, and, you know, you're going to have to try to take this from them. You know, it's not going to be easy. They're good. They're going to go on runs. We may go on runs. And uh, <clears throat> we have to stay the course and, until that buzzer sounds at the end of the game. So for our guys to to do that, even when we were down, uh, was fantastic. Uh, obviously, uh, Foxy and uh, and uh, uh, Malik were terrific for us. You know, they both hit the record books for playoff debuts. Obviously, Malik coming off the bench and his point production for a playoff debut. And Foxy, uh, you know, obviously starting and him having a playoff debut. They, they, were, they were big for us, especially when we couldn't get a bucket uh, during the course of the game. And that's what you need. You need guys to st- uh, to step up, uh, especially you need uh, your all stars like Foxy did tonight. He was he was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, our, I thought our physicality on both ends of the floor was good. Uh, our pace was good in the second half. We ended up scoring ten fast break points in the second half, which was a huge difference than what we had in the first when we only had two. And you know, again, I'm going to be preaching that the whole playoff run uh, physicality. Pace, pace, physicality, not just in the full court, but in the half court, too. And physicality, not just defensively, but offensively as well. Um, And speaking of offense, I thought our sprays changed the game. We did a better job in the second half of touching that paint and finding guys on the perimeter. We had a lot of guys hit some big shots for us. Uh, But I I, I also have to give credit to the rest of our bench. Uh, Our bench was was really good. Davion, Trey, and Alex. I already talked about Malik, but those three guys were were really, really good for us in a lot of different ways. Uh, It's one game. Obviously, we'll take it, but uh, we understand that this is a long journey. Coach, uh, congratulations. Sounds like maybe some country music and Modelo are in order tonight. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> what can you share with us about the way you defended? Steph, Steph didn't get a very good look there. I know it was a very short clock. But what can you share about the way you defended their last shot and where that broke down for them? Well, I mean, he, you know, he's capable of making any shot. And you just kind of hold your breath until that thing bounces off the rim. You know, it's no secret we wanted to take away the three-point line, and that's what we tried to do. But in the same breath, he's so crafty that once he faced up, you know, you had to try to contest but not to do it where you're picking up a foul because if you foul him in that situation, we all know he's making all three free throws. He's about as good a free throw shooter in the history of the game as anyone. So, um, you know, again, we we guarded the three-point line. We did a fairly good job with it. He ended up breaking free at the last second. He had to rush taking that one foot three point shot, which at the end of the day, you got to live with as opposed to fouling them. Mike, uh, Matt George, UBC 10. Over the course of the season, a couple times you talked about you can't always call timeouts to uh, regather the group. You need them to do it yourself. How pleased are you with how they responded to Steph and Clay's kind of big shots in the fourth quarter to make sure things didn't get out of control? No, you, you know, I, I'm excited. Uh, it, we we had an extra time out to burn, and, you know, it was, I, I was close, you know, not just to – 
stem the tide a little bit, but I, th- I thought, uh, you know, our guys would, especially Foxy, because we ran them, would need, some, some, need a quick blow. Uh, but we kept, you know, mixing in stops with big threes that they hit, and we were, we were pushing it. And I did not want to um, hinder our pace at all. And that's why I didn't burn. That's why I didn't use extra timeout, because I thought every time we got it off the glass, and even after the makes, we were trying to get it up the floor. And I didn't want to take that away from them, because that's how we're going to have to play throughout our playoff run. Uh, James Hamm, ESPN 1320. Mike, um, we've talked about it all season long with you. You started early in preseason talking about how De'Aaron has to be a two-way player for you guys. Uh, The 38 points was nice, but his defense tonight was probably some of the best we've seen in his career. Just uh, like what has gone into that, making him that type of defender? Well, first of all, he's embraced it. He knows that he has to be able to do that in order for us to attain or achieve our goal. He's got to be a two-way player uh, if he expects – at all, at any time, to win a championship, and he's got to do it at a high level. He was really good tonight. You know, we we try to give him a rest from time to time uh, by throwing Davion in the game and and letting Davion uh, uh, chase uh, Steph around. We also mixed in a little bit of zone in boxing one, and we're gonna have to keep trying to mix it up. You know, throughout the course of the game, but he's going to have to be not only elite for us offensively, uh, but elite defensively. And <clears throat> that's what an all star does. That's what a first, second, third team all NBA player does. <clears throat> they rise to the moment, especially when the moment's really big. Like we, we know, we know Malik right here. Oh. We know we know Malik's got a big personality, and, and when he plays, he's always aggressive and um, getting his shots up. But to see what he did tonight, um, well, just what did you make of of that, particularly in his in his playoff debut, and and how much does his personality rub off on his teammates when when he is encouraging guys, and particularly guys off the bench, to do what they do? Malik is is a confident individual, and you can feel that when you're around him. And you know, I I told him there were a couple of times where I thought he touched that paint, and he had a couple of sprays in the first half. And I told him, I said, Malik, I said, I'm not trying to call you off your shot. I'm going to live with you shooting the ball. But when you touch that paint, if you can feel it, we got guys wide open on the perimeter because they're either A, trying to blitz you, or B, uh, and so they're sending two at you, or B, they're sending a second, sometimes a third body when you hit that paint. I said, now, again, I know you, I know you can score, and if you don't agree with what I'm saying, you do what you want to do, and we're going to live with it. And, you know, you could feel Malik's confidence, and we need that in games like this because he ain't, he ain't afraid of me, <laughs> and he ain't afraid of the moment, which is what we need. Coach, uh, Mark Devon, Davis Enterprise. Uh, third quarter, the scoreboard showed you guys missing uh, 18 of your first 22 three-pointers. You guys end the game making eight of your last 10. Uh, talk about that turnaround, how you made it happen. Well, we can shoot, and and I, you know I told our guys I thought we had some wide open looks in the first half that we normally make, and they just didn't go go down. And so we kept encouraging our guys: if you're open, just even a tad bit, let it fly. We we got to play fast, and if you're open, let it fly. You, if you pass up a shot to drive and all that other stuff, we'll probably get a worse shot. So uh, trying to instill that confidence in our guys, even when we weren't shooting it well, was big by my entire staff and our vets because they kept letting it fly and and we finally you know caught fire enough to knock a few down towards the end of the game mike jake Eden for cbs 13 one uh did anybody win the chain alex lynn oh okay yeah. uh, and two uh you said you'd need everybody when this playoff run hits yeah. uh domas keegan struggled <clears throat> a little bit tonight what do you want to see them when they when they take on game two on Monday and changing their game and their approach in this situation you got to have a short memory that's the biggest thing you got to have a short memory they've done it all year for us and so we're going to keep encouraging them to play their game Uh, if they are in position to score go ahead and do your thing Uh, but don't hesitate at all If, if they hesitate that's what would hurt us more than anything else we all have confidence in them Tony Harvey, NBC Sports Radio. Coach Brown, you know, you've been pretty much preaching about uh, mental toughness all season. Uh, that fourth quarter fury, would you describe that, you know, as something, that, you know, that your team just upped the level and, and just rose to the occasion? 100%, you know, and, and more so, 
Uh, throughout the course of the game, especially when we were down, you, you know, uh, when we were down again, not being in a situation like that uh, when, when the stakes are as high as they are in a game like tonight uh, against the, the defending champions, you could have easily said, hey, we got seven games to win for. It's okay if we don't get this one. Let's fight and figure it out for the next game. But our guys mentally stayed locked in and kept trying to do the things that we asked them to do by being physical uh, on both ends of the floor and getting getting out in transition and trying to increase our pace, especially uh, in the half court. So that takes a mental uh, toughness uh, as well, and our guys showed it tonight. Mike Jason Anderson, Sacramento B. I asked you a week or so ago what playoff Fox might look like, and you said you, you wanted to see it first. Yeah. Um, now that you've seen it, I just wonder what is it about his makeup, um, his skill set, what you know about him that, that might make him able to, to thrive in these kind of environments? <clears throat> you know, his his skill set is, is off the charts. Uh, you know, I mean, he can shoot threes. He's got a medium game. He can get to the rim. He can get out in transition. You know, things he does offensively, he's so shifty and crafty, and he hits difficult or tough shots. It's 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 really fun to watch. And, you know, you need guys like that on your side because, again, they know everything that we're throwing at them. <laughs> And so it, it, there's no secrets. you got to have guys on your team that can go make plays. And Foxy went and made plays tonight, and that's just a testament to who he is. What a playoff debut. I mean, I, I, you, you can't ask for much more than what he did tonight. Uh, the, thing, the biggest thing, though, that, 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 uh, that I felt and that I continue to see from him is in order to be great, you have to have, you have, to have a short-term memory. All the greats that I've been around, Hey, they they move on to the next play, the next play speed, baby. And, and and Foxy did it. I think he had nine points. He was three for eight in the first half, <clears throat> and it, it, that did not hinder him. And that was fantastic to see. Yeah, Coach Brendan Nunes, Kings Herald. Uh, that boxing one that you mentioned, we saw a lot of in that second half. Um, what allowed your team to be successful in running that, and how do you how well do you think they did of going in and out of that coverage as you called for it from the sideline? They they, they did a, they did a great job, and we we don't work on it a ton, you know. And and it was part of our game plan as coaches going into this series. And uh, I'll never, I won't forget we, we were in the coaches meeting, and somebody said, "Hey, let's work on the boxing one. Let's work on this. Let's work on that." And I said, I said, no, we're not going to because the beauty of us uh, going to a boxing one is we don't really know what we're doing, which that may confuse the other team. So let's just let them play. And, and, and the, the, to, to back that up, uh, you know, when we when we uh, were slapping the guy's hands going around, uh, Alex Lennon, first thing he said to me, he said, he said, he said coach, hey, can we go over the boxing one? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I said, that's a good thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and I kept it moving. So we have some principles. Uh, but the biggest thing is we just got to talk uh, or communicate with one another, cover space. And if somebody gets cracked, then you go ahead and switch it. Michelle Dapper, KCRA. Coach Harrison Barnes called this an emotional win. What do you think this win means for a guy who's been through the highs and lows of this franchise? It means a lot, you know, and, and, and not just, not obviously not just for him, but, but, but it means a lot to, to all those guys because, you know, I said this before, when you have a team that uh, is inexperienced in a lot of different areas, you've got to find little victories and celebrate them just so that they can continue to believe. And the more belief they have, that's the more dangerous that team becomes. And so uh, getting this win for sure is an emotional win, especially with us being down uh, with the defending champions in game one. And, and hopefully that's going to give us a little bit more confidence going forward. Yeah, Coach Sarah Hodges, CBS 13. Just to go off that, just to be able to come up victorious in game one against the Warriors, how huge is that as well as just building that confidence? It, it, it's it's huge, you know. <clears throat> you lose a game, and it can doubt can start creep, creeping in to certain guys, you know, especially guys that haven't been on this stage yet. You're playing against the defending champions, and so on and so forth. And so, uh, when you can go out there and you can get a win, especially in game one, especially at home, uh, that always helps the psyche going forward. Thank you, guys.